Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to solve an example about vertical curve. Let's go ahead and start. A vertical curve connects tangents of G1 equals to 2% and G2 equals to minus 5% that intersects at station 58 plus 25.60, having elevation equal to 128.54 feet. And the vertical curve is to be 800 feet long. What is the curve elevation at station 59 plus 00? zero? All right, so this is a vertical curve example. And the first thing that I would do, I would like to go to the FE handbook. And I have it here already. But if you just type curve, vertical curve, it's just going to get you straight to this page. But just so you know, this is under civil engineering uh, transportation. If you scroll down, this is the vertical curve. And we have a bunch of formulas here that we can use. And as you remember with the horizontal curve, there are a few very important formulas that are not provided in the FE handbook. And unfortunately you have to remember or memorize them uh, for the exam. And the formulas are, let me see if I can write them down here. The PVC, how to calculate PVC, station PVC equals to and also PVT and you'll see that they're not that hard actually to uh, remember usually with these stations we start at PVI and then we go back to PVC and PVT to calculate them so PVC is going to be equal to PVI minus L over two, where L is this horizontal distance from PVC to PVT. And then station PVT is equal to PVI again, plus L over two. So pretty simple so far. And now let's try and see what is the uh, elevation of station P, V, C, and elevation of P, V, P. Great. So elevation of P, V, C, it's going to be equal to a little bit similar to the formulas of stations. It's station, uh, elevation at P, V, I minus G1 multiplied by L over 2, and then elevation at PVT equals to Y PVI plus this time G2 multiplied by L over 2. So these are the four very important formulas that you need to memorize in order to be able to solve these vertical curve problems. And we actually are going to use these formulas in our problem today and some other formulas from these list of formulas given in the FE handbook. So now let's go to our problem. And the problem is asking what is the curve elevation, right? And here in the FE handbook, we actually have a curve elevation uh, formula given. It's two of them here. And the difference between tangent elevation and curve elevation, tangent elevation goes along this tangent and is the distance from tangent to the datum. And curve elevation goes along this curve and is the distance from the curve to the datum, right? The, the vertical distance. So let's write this formula down of curve elevation. Y PVC plus G1X plus AX squared. And actually before I'm going to write it down, I want to point out a few things. So what is X? This X, if you look at the sketch of vertical curve here, the X is nothing else but a horizontal distance from the station to PVC. 
So it's just a horizontal distance. And then A, we have the formula for A given right here. Fortunately, we have it. We don't have to memorize this. So pretty much, I believe we, YPVC, again, I this is one of the formula that I told you, you have to memorize it because it's not given in the FE handbook. And I think we can go ahead and start and solve this problem. So I'm going to say that curve elevation equals y p v c plus g one x plus a x squared. Great. Now, if I was to do a little bit of a sketch here, let's see, what should I do it? Maybe here. So let's see, I'm gonna draw this tangents that intersect. I need you to do this better here, there you go. So this would be PVT. This point over here is PVI. And PVI is given in the problem as 58, 25, 60 feet. And the problem we have it as station, which is 58 plus 25, 60. And this is equal to 58, 25,000.60 feet. And then this point of intersection, this is PVC. We're also given in the problem this elevation, just say y p v i is equal to one twenty eight point fifty four, and this is our datum. Let me write down datum, and this y p v i is the distance from this point PVI to our datum here. Let's see what else. We have the grade G1 equals to 0 0.02 and G2 equals to, let's say zero, G2 is negative, goes down. So it's minus 0 0.05 or uh, percent or great. I think I will just remove this for clarity. So we have G1, G2, what else? Let me see. Oh, the length of curve, which is this distance from PVT is the horizontal distance. Or maybe I should, let me see how this distance over here. This is L, which is equal to 800 feet. Okay. I believe this is everything that is given in the problem. And now we have to go ahead and find what is the curve elevation at station 59. So there are a few things we have to find before we do that. Looking at this formula, we don't know the elevation at the PVC, we have to find X and we have to find A. If you remember, if you go back, if we go back to the FE handbook, one of those four formulas that I told you you have to memorize is actually the Y of PVC. So we, the formula is saying that Y PVC equals to Y PVI minus G1 multiply by L over two. So let's write this down. Y P V C equals to Y P V I minus G one multiplied by L over two. And we have everything we need to solve this. So we just plug all of the information. Y P V I is 128. 54 feet minus G1 is 0 0.02 multiplied by L over 
two is going to be 800 divided by two equals. If you do this calculation, and please do verify my calculations, you should get that y PVC is equal to 120.54. Feet. So we've got Y PVC. Now let's see what is X. As I've mentioned before, X is the horizontal distance from the station we are asked in the problem to calculate to PVC. So our station in question is station 59 plus 00. zero and let me say x is going to be equal to 59, 0, 0. I'm going to write this in feet, minus station PVC. And here we go again. See, we need the formula on how to calculate the, the station of PVC. And it's one of those formulas not given in the FE Honda book and you have to memorize. So PVC equals to PVI minus L over two. I'll say PVC equals to PVI minus L over two and is 58.25.60. Eight hundred over two, and this is going to give you that PVC is at fifty four twenty five point six feet. So now that we have station PVC, we can come back to this X formula and plug. The PVC and calculate for X. So I'm going to have 59,000 minus 54.25.6 equals, and X, it's going to be 474.4 feet. Okay, so we found X, we found Y PVC. Now we have to, so this is also known, now we have to calculate for A. A equals two. And if you remember, we have talked at the beginning that the formula is given in the FE handbook. A equals to G2 minus G1 over two L. So let's go ahead and write this down. A equals to G2 minus G1 over 2L. So we're going to have G2 as minus 0 0.05 minus, from the formula, G1 is 0 0.02 divided by 2 multiplied by L, which is 800 feet, equals and now if you do the calcs, and please, again, do calculations, use your calculator to get used to it, you are going to get a value of minus 4.375 multiplied by 10 minus 5. So you get a, you get a negative value. Please remember that it's very important. You have to add it as negative in your final formula. So at this point, I think we have calculated everything we need to know to come back to the curve elevation at station 59 plus 00, zero equals 2. And we're just going to substitute everything we know now. Y PVC is 120.54. So 120.54. And if you want to have a visual of this, 
let's look here. Station PVI is at 5825.6, and we have to calculate the elevation at the curve elevation at station 59. So 59 is going to be just a little bit after the PVI, and we have to calculate the curve elevation from this station, from this point, or at this point, which is going to be somewhere here. So let's continue. We have 120.54 plus G1, which is 0 0.02, multiplied by X, and X is 474. Point four, and then we have plus a, which is there. You go here comes the negative minus four point three seven five multiplied by ten power minus five multiplied by four seven four. Point four our x squared. Wonderful. And from here is just, you know, pure math. Let's take your calculator. Or you guys take your calculators and calculate this. And if you do correctly, you should get a value for this curve elevation of 120.18. Feet. So this Y over here at station 59. Is 120.18. And the correct answer is C. A few things I want to point out. For vertical curves, these four formulas that I've mentioned before, they're very important to know. It's going to make your life easier when working on uh, these kind of problems. They're not in the FE handbook, so it's kind of a must. And that's all for today. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe and give it a like because this helps put this video in front of more people just like you. And remember, in order to get good at this, you have to solve as many problems as you can. Wishing you a wonderful week ahead and I'll see you next time.